Welcome back to your new Hints and Theories video, this time about episode number 4. And as you probably know, Hila is my main suspect at the moment, but in these videos I try to give you several hints to several people. So to simply give you an overview of the hints and theories that are in the room at the moment. Nevertheless, I found so many hints leading us to Hila again, which is why there will be another is Hila the Mole video, simply because there are so many hints and they are worth an extra video. And if you want to make sure not to miss that, then don't forget to subscribe right now. And now off to all the hints to episode number four. So as always, we will first have a look at the name of the episode, which is Stammen this time. And that could be translated as either voices or as to vote. So it would refer to the test in the end, for example. And I have the feeling that the titles of the episodes are not telling us that much anymore. The last two times we had Zweichen and Nietzsachen, which are like the opposites of Stemmen, of voices. So we have saying nothing and saying something now. And in the end, all of those people who are still in the game somehow have to use their voices for their work, for example. It doesn't matter if they are an actor or an actress, if they are working for the radio or as a comedian, they somehow all have to use their voices. Which is why I start to doubt that the names of the episodes tell us that much about the moral anymore. But nevertheless, they give us a good feeling of the atmosphere in the episodes. Now onto the first hint, and it has to do with Arno. I know that Arno left the game. Nevertheless, his test is quite interesting. He told us that he went fully on one person in his test and that he did not use any jokers. Of course, we do not get to see on which person he went. The production would never let us see that so clearly. Nevertheless, we can narrow it down to two people. During the first task, Arno tells us that he believes that the mole is in the team who earned the money. And as we all know, there was not much money earned in the task and only one team was responsible for that, well, bit of money and in the team were Zahil and Kim Lian. So Arno seems to think that either Zahil or Kim Lian is the mole. But we also know that Arno and Zahil had kind of a special connection. Ever since the Abach Cassidy and Sundance Kid, the two seem to have a special friendship. So they really trust each other. I really have the feeling that when they gain just two exemptions together, they kind of like, well, start to have a connection. And this is also why Zahir gives his joker to Arno to protect it from Frasia. That was a weird move, a weird action, but nevertheless, he seems to trust Arno very much. And I have the feeling that it also is the other way around, so that Arno trusts Zahil a lot. Which is why I think that he would never see Zahil as his mole and go fully on him in the test. Which would mean that Arno filled his test out on Kim Lian, fully on her without any yogurts and went home. Which of course would then lead us to the conclusion that Kim Lian cannot be the mole. The second theory today is about Everon and Thomas. They were really upset after the last task in episode number 3 and in this episode we see them in the buses and we also see how they talk about well, their feelings, how their task went and they were both very emotional. And as you probably know from our last Hints and Theories videos, then I already said in that video that everyone seemed very disappointed to me, very sad about what had happened and that he really seemed hurt. And I think in this episode now we simply, well, have a proof of that. So everyone was again very emotional about it, Thomas was also very emotional about it and they both simply reacted way too emotional to be a mole, if you ask me. But also have a look on the other candidates reactions to that story. Kim Lian turned her face to the side and I believe that I even saw some tears in her eyes. Mm -hmm. 
and they all somehow reacted emotional except for Hila. And as I said, this here is no Hila is the mole video, but nevertheless, have a look at her face. She really seems not to be very emotional about it, which could probably be because she already knew what had happened, if she is the mole. The next hint is about the masks in the intro. So we had this huge hint coming out some days ago that there are masks photoshopped into the intro and we've talked about what that should tell us. If we have to have a closer look on the tasks in which they are photoshopped, if we have to have a closer look on the name of those tasks and now the thermometer on Instagram came up with another theory about that. So his idea was that whenever we see a mask in the intro, then the candidate shown after that mask would leave the game. And it works with the first three ones leaving the game. Now Arno also left the game, which proves this theory. So this is a really interesting one, because this time the production wouldn't give us a hint to the mall, but rather a hint to the people leaving the game. If that theory is right, then there would also be Thomas and Letizia leaving the game. And last but not least, a kind of probably silly hint to Frasia. During task 2 she gets those two jokers and she holds them up in front of her eyes, showing us as the viewers and everyone and Rick the, the mole logo. And back in 2017, Meryl did something very similar. Back then they played Jenga and she had one of those Jenga stones in her hand, on which was written the mole too. And she held it up on her forehead and said like, almost like a hint or. And this time Frasia said cuckoo, which could also say like cuckoo, here I am. And yeah. Probably a silly end to Frasia, but nevertheless I wanted to let you know it for all those of you who are in the Frasia tunnel vision. That were our hints and theories to episode 4 so far. Let me know if I missed out on anything very crucial. And if you don't want to miss the upcoming Is Here the Moa video, which will be the third one already, then don't forget to subscribe right now. I will also upload a quick hints video again on Friday. And of course, you can still join our International Facebook group or follow me on Instagram. All the information about that is in the info box down there. And until the next video, I wish you a very nice day and a very good start into the new week. Bye!